your evaluator at once communicator silver to give her the evaluation. Thank you, CP. It's not just a hobby. Today, Anna has successfully conveyed her message, her art of thought towards all the audience over here. So ladies and gentlemen, don't you think that today Anna, she, uh, Anna successfully presented a very good speech to all of you? Yes! Visual aids is our, is our very important tools or weapons as a public speaker. You must use it appropriately and accurately. For those Master Anna, visual aid is a very simple one, very familiar, very familiar with all of us, books and papers. I like the way that you twisted the A4 paper because it is how you actually deal with visual aids. It enhances and enables the audience, the, the listener, to really visualize the speech. That is a very good strategy that you have because you try to twist the message using a few gestures in your hands and the visual aids combine it together. All of us can easily follow your speech. That's very well done. Secondly, I would like the way that your visual aids have a lot good connectivity with the with what you're trying to convey your message. For example, the Wonder Woman magazine and the nice scenery over here. These are not a random picture that Anna, uh, Anna Maria are trying to share with all of us. Indeed, Anna Maria did some research, did some preparation so that she can be able to let the audience understand and fully analyze what she's trying to convey with the audience. Now, Toastmaster Anna, other than visual aids, there's something I'd like to comment about you, praise about you. It's about your good usage of English, especially you're very animated. <laughs> I realize that you're trying to deliver your speech. When you speak, you speak confidently, you speak comfortably. And you manage your, your speech didn't have any jargons, didn't have any high vocabulary. So all of us can easily understand your speech. So that is a skill that you acquire all the time. Now Toastmaster Anna, let's see how my <coughs> evaluation can help you. So one day you can become an exceptional artist in conveying your message over here. Firstly, I like to in terms of visual aids, I'll be more interested that not only you use pictures or papers or books, I want I see today you're well, well dressed today, or very interesting dress today. Perhaps your costume can be a tool of visual aids because you try also can indirectly convey the message towards the audience. Say, today I made my choice. My myself as an artist can actually convey this message to you. That is something I'm looking forward for it. Secondly, it's about you can use a few examples, celebrities, example, or even your own personal experience, personal examples. I must say that. You yourself draw a picture from your mind since very small, six years old, you draw a picture. Then slowly when you grow up and getting more mature, your picture's getting more and more differently. You convey your message towards yourself. So I want to see you yourself presented a nice Anna Maria picture towards the audience. With that, it's not just a hobby. Today I realized that today's speech is not just a speech. It's actually a very valuable, priceless message that Anna Maria trying to share with today's audience in this meeting. Hopefully, you take my advice and able to explore it. And one day, seeing together, see, I hope to see you one day to, pre to present an exceptional speech. Back to you. <laughs> Anna, Ken is one of the champions in the evaluation contest. Woo! I'm sure he has given you a lot of tips to, to improve in your next speech. Well done on that. And every one of us, from now onwards, we should look at one piece of art or anything with a different anchor, with more appreciative manner. Yeah. Good job on that. And now we wish you speedy recovery. Yeah, no. Okay, you, you may be yeah. Bye. Yeah, I know, I know. Bye. Bye. Don't die. <laughs> That's the door. Our new member today, Postmaster Jason, delivered his eye speaker speech. And what has he done so well and what are the areas that he can improve on to prepare for his second speech? Let's invite the Vice President of Education, Postmaster Sweetling, to give him some evaluation. Thank 
Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Do you feel like you know Jason better now? Yes. I do, yes. yes. Now, so let's give him a very big round of applause. <laughs> so now, Jason, for your very first speech, I have an acronym for you. COC, not Clash of Clans, <laughs> but you are comprehensive, organized, and also you are confident. For the first C, comprehensive. I really like how you structure your speech in a sh very short paragraph and also short sentence so that every one of us could have a grasp of what you would want to um, deliver. And what I like really much about your speech is how you transit from one point to another. If you realize he didn't use firstly, secondly and lastly my attributes is he just used firstly when he want to transit to his second point he actually asked a question like, did anyone of you here have a problem making decision? And then he followed by saying he's a really rational person and he told us how he make a decision by his personal opinion. So the next point, you are organized. You have a really strong opening. You have introduced, you have a brief introduction of yourself and then also, you told us why you joined Toastmasters. And your body, you gave us three clear messages of your top attributes. And last but not least, your closing, you reinforce on how your <coughs> attributes make you who you are today. I especially like it how you elaborate your point. In, in the three attributes, you actually give one point and also one example of your experience. Okay, for the third one is your confidence. We can, I believe that all of us could see that you are really well prepared. And also, I really love it how you do your closing. You have a strong message, you stand firm, and you raise your voice when you deliver it. So, here are some su personal suggestions. <coughs> the first one would be your gesture. I noticed maybe you are a little bit nervous, so you move a little bit uh, left and right sometimes. So what you can do for the um, new speaker, maybe you can try to stand uh, more firm on the ground. When you proceed, you could learn how to use, utilize the stage. Maybe you start your op opening here, and then when you proceed to your next point, you say, I am also a very rational person. So that you could also attract the audience attention. And the second one I would say is, have eye contact. I realize that you have eye contact with the left side and the middle of the audience. Um, why eye contact is so important? Because every time when you look at the person and they give you a reaction, it increases your confidence level. So what you can do is maybe like, <coughs> I am a really rational person. You look at the person and when that person knocks, I believe that your confidence level would increase naturally. Okay, so I really admire people who put in initiative and a lot of effort in to know what they are doing, to ace in what they are doing, and you are one of them. So I really, I'm really looking forward to, for your next speech. Thank you. Postmaster Jason, this is how Sweetling has actually tear down the entire speech and give you the analysis <coughs> part by part. So you should be very appreciative that she has provided you these tips and it actually helps you to, to improve in your second speech and bear in mind to deliver a speech is not to, uh, to fulfill your <coughs> projects and your assignment is to convey or to communicate with the audience and how much that you close the gaps between you and your audience and those suggestions, the eye contact, the movement on the stage will help you to achieve this. Yeah. <coughs> well done on that. <coughs> Toastmaster Winnie, are you scared now? <laughs> Very. Please invite, please put our hands together to welcome <coughs> at once communicator bronze, Muhammad Ali. <coughs> uh, that's don't time yet, I need to fix one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. 
I, I feel, I feel. Okay, Ben, take us down. Hi, Mimi. You okay? Hi. Oh, I'm feeling so bad at this right now. But, can we have a round of applause for Mimi? Did you guys enjoy your speech? Yes. yes. Louder? Oh my god, guys, louder? Yes. yes. Ah. Personally, I really did enjoy your speech. Because at the start, you actually showcase vocal variety. Like, you use your cute voice, which is I'm currently feeling doing it right now. And you use kind of like a man, man, uh, quote unquote, manly voice for your dad. And you started with, I, I think, was it intentional? Like a song? When I was just a little girl. No? Was it intentional? Uh, I thought it was intentional. But that, that captured everyone's attention. It like, could be, it could be. Yeah. When I was just a little girl, and everyone just like, ah, lagu. <laughs> got, got song. So everyone was looking at you. And today, your volume, your pitch, and your, uh, your volume and your pitch, on point. Especially when you were. Uh, Talking about the escalator as a child, you ch you had a change in volume. You you spoke like a little child. You uh, you lowered down your pitch and you spoke like a little child. And then when you talked about the escalator, your volume went up. Like you want me to die? Is it? Yeah, something something uh, something something like that. And that and that really captures the fear of escalators, which is very not normal. Were you guys afraid of escalators before? Yeah. It oh. was so fast. Like like. I'm so small. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh yeah, and just one more thing before I move to the ears of your woman, you were very cute today. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. With, with all the voice and that's why any. Yeah, with all the voice. Eh? So if I may, there are some of uh, there are some areas of improvement, starting with the second song that you used. Like, uh, seven years, seven years old. Yeah, seven, seven years. That's the name of the song. Yeah. All right, seven years. Because uh, you said once I was seven years old and then you stop. But then you continue, my dad told me. Which you can continue because that's part of the song. My father, was it my father or my daddy? My, my mama told me. My mama or fa father? Mama in the song. Mama? Mama? Mama was it? in the song. Was it father? No. No, I thought, okay, okay, yeah. you, you, can, you can integrate it into the song like my daddy told me. Okay. So it will work better. And one more thing, really. Chill. Don't say sorry. Because nobody knows that you forgot your speech. That it was really obvious, but okay. It was, yeah, it was very obvious because you made it obvious. But if you didn't look up, you didn't like, uh, uh, then it wouldn't be obvious. You can try hide it, you can bullshit your way through. That's the way, because nobody knows that you forgot your speech. Right? And never say sorry, because it's your speech, not theirs. I put it up, okay, sir. One more thing, you asked me to take note of your body language. Your body language was way better than your previous speeches. Uh, there are still some salsa going on. You move front, you move back. Front, back. Multiple of times, even changing positions. Like, uh, uh. So try to avoid that because when you spoke, you spoke very confidently. Body language? Uh, a bit, a bit, a bit off, a bit off. And one more thing, back to the part Okay, no way. Back to the part about your uh, about ch you. I'm asking you to chill out. Your build up for your Will Smith uh, quote was very nice. It was amazing. Like the build up was damn good. But then you said you forgot. You forgot a bit, and then that destroyed. Like ah. Uh, so try to keep the momentum going, cause you. Because no, no one really knows what the code is about. Nobody really knows. Do you guys know the full code? No, right? Yeah. So you cannot lie about the code. Lie about what he said. Just add in your own words. You don't have to use the full code. Just one more. And one more thing. Pause. It can give way more effect. And this is not for you, but to other people, don't like a chow. Like, he, like she was trying to say, fear is... What, what was it? Facing everything and rice. Uh, facing yeah. everything and rice. But then someone accidentally said the thing, yeah. uh, and then cut, and then she went off track. I'm not gonna point fingers, but then she went off track. Mm -hmm. She went off track, and then because her ending was very good, her ending she was very confident. She was gonna say, uh, face everything and rice, but then fear everything, face everything and rice. Yeah, yeah, fear, face everything and rice. So. 
guys, don't catch out people because potong steam a bit lah. Eh? Eh? Huh? I'm not, I'm not going to look at the guy but never mind. <laughs> Alright, but we knew. Overall, it was a wonderful speech. I definitely enjoyed it and it was way better than your previous speeches. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I went so off time. <laughs> I feel so happy. So really, you should notice. Besides giving you verbal evaluation, he has also demonstrated how you should uh, <coughs> do in terms of body language and some of the vocal writings. Well done on that, Mama Lee. <laughs> <laughs>